Hey, listen, I thought I would show you a couple of my garden hacks. Um, just real short. Every time I come out here, I kind of think how weird I am or maybe how proud of myself I am. I'm not selfish, but for the lack of wanting to spend money on stuff that I shouldn't have to, I guess. Um, let's walk around. I'm going to carry you this time, so hopefully you don't get uh, sick, but I'll try not to be Blair Witch Project. I'm going to carry you around randomly and just show you uh, some of the hacks in my garden. Let's go. Alright, so... Why don't we start with box one, or with what I call box one. This Okay, garden hack one. And I don't think we'll get to all of them, because I just realized... Man, what a hack I am. Anyways. Bought barrels off of Marketplace. Local winery. Drops off trailers full of barrels in the big store parking lots. Like one Monday or so a month, I think. Of course, it was three years ago now. But I bought full-size barrels from a winery. They sure did smell good, by the way, when I cut them. But... Cut the barrels in half. I was just going to use them for planters like everybody else. And then my buddy Juan showed up drunk. And he said, why don't you do that? So, there we go. Everybody seems to like it. They don't fit perfectly together. But I did make sure they're hammered flat where they sit. So, trellis. It's basically like pig fence or something uh, real flexible with the two uh, green fence stakes, which everybody does. No hack that I've invented there, but I also used uh, rabbit fence on the front. That's what the clematis glows, grows up, excuse me, and around. Take it up to here. And the clematis is new as of last year, so uh, it all survived. This one's a little rough. Um, let's see. Somewhere in there. Anyway, it's they're all the type of clematis that comes up new out of the ground and does not uh, bloom on old wood. There's about three or four different styles of clematis as far as when they bloom so um, I just happen to pick these now these are doing well I've got them coming out of the ground down here coming up there's some in here moving up um, and just now I'm noticing this one not looking so happy so I better figure out what's going on in there but anyway, that's the idea. It's going to grow up the trellis. You know, this one grows around the barrel. I did good last year. Hack. Two or three. Cattle panel trellises. Uh, I was going to use it for hoop houses. It's been expensive for the last few years. Way more expensive than it should be. So, I decided to put it from the close side of this box to the close side of this box and I staked it down same with that one over there so it's kind of cool tomatoes and cucumbers and pumpkins and whatever they all grow together hack three I do like this idea um, every spring they have a big cleanup in our in our county and you can everybody can put a bunch of crap out on the road for the garbage man but you get two days to drive around with a little map on an app that shows you who's uh participating so 
last year I got a bunch of cool stuff, but this was a dog kennel that was broken and didn't go together. And I just used my shade cloth and light hooks to attach it to the box. And I can take it on and off so quick. I just turn the hooks on both sides and unlatch it and stack it. I've done that on this one here too. And there's going to be some beans growing out of here. So probably tie some strings on the inside and get those beans to follow. Pole beans to follow up here. This side where I put pole beans recently, they're all kind of starting to come up as of today and yesterday um, hopefully they'll grow up there by themselves I'll train them if not and I don't even know what hack we're on doesn't matter I guess um, this hack is a piece of the pig fencing I didn't need from the trellis I made so I utilize the hooks for the shade cloth once again, flatten this pig fence out, chicken fence, whatever it is. And that's also a good removable quick leaf trellis for whatever. Two years in a row I've done pumpkins and cucumbers on these. It works phenomenal. Next hack, you guys have already seen the plastic tub hack as they fall apart or break in my garage or storage I don't throw them away I'll bring them out here and use them for small little microclimate greenhouse type things so um, but that's already talked about so the next hack is these five dollar used to be five dollar who knows what they are with the uh grand inflation and everything going on in our world but uh these five dollar tiki torch poles that are truly made out of bamboo and i've got one in a couple um of the boxes here but here's the hack after 12 to 24 months they start falling apart from the sun obviously they're bamboo so um, if you need a bunch of stakes ways to mark things or whatever you can take this ring off it's just a piece of bamboo leaf um, or if you don't need a bunch uh, about every two weeks one of these will just magically start degrading and fall off so I just use them as a stake mark on it put something on it block something up with it help your peas get to the top with it whatever now as from a few videos you know, I reuse pots from my wife's plants every year. I literally keep them until they start falling apart. And I use them in here. That's old strawberry one, obviously. I've filled quite a few of these with lentils every year. Um, just to keep it green and keep the biology alive and whatnot. So, uh, this stupid wasp I don't mind them when I've got things growing I've witnessed wasps actually pluck aphids off of my corn a couple years ago and eat them by the thousands a day so I don't hate wasps as much but anyway next hack got a great buddy works in uh, the field of mechanics and he's a technician on tractors and has been for quite a while they have a whole yard full of pallets and boxes like engines and transmissions 
are shipped in these. Some are thin, and I've got to pay attention to them, like uh, one of those back there, which I'll be doing soon. Some are thick. Hey, that's where my blackberries reside. That's where my blueberries reside, and that's where my asparagus and some of my cut flowers reside. Um, and some dill uh, as of this year. So, just a few hacks. I appreciate you guys. If you uh, like my content, subscribe and uh, the bell and all the, the goodies that go with it. It just helps me out a little bit, obviously, as every single guy says. I shouldn't have to say that. I'm probably going to stop saying that. Anyway, uh, but you can share me. I'm just, uh, what's my name today? I'm just a hack gardener in southwest Idaho making stuff work. Thank you.